Yeah, guys, and that really was what was echoed today with those parents and teachers that there is an impact on the students, whether they are in a classroom without a permanent teacher or even if their teacher is moved in the middle of the school year. And that's why parents say they want the district to do all they can to keep good teachers in the classroom. School is back in session less than a month ago for Sacramento students, but hundreds of them don't have permanent teachers yet. So they have these classrooms that are not full. They don't meet the 24 or 32 kids that are supposed to be in the classroom, and so they start combining classes. 13 year veteran educator Christy Lofton explains that leads to teachers without a job. Um, it's there's no consistency. Parents are also concerned. It is actually very saddening. According to the Sacramento City Teachers Association, there are more than 100 vacancies district wide. And this has been going on now for weeks and it doesn't seem to have um, any immediate end in sight. But the district spokesman says their numbers are not the same. The district says there are 46 classroom teaching vacancies currently being filled by substitute teachers, plus 24 vacancies in non classroom positions like counselors, nurses, psychologists and librarians, making a total of 70 certificated vacancies not including management or classified positions. Each side having a different reason for the unfilled jobs, the union blames last year's layoffs. The district decided to lay off almost 400 educators right in the middle of a teacher shortage. Um, and then um, when they went to rescind a lot of those layoffs, of course, teachers had left for other districts. While the school district blames the teacher strike, saying because of it, their recruiting efforts were delayed for a month. This is just another example of how these strikes hurt students and hurt our ability to serve students. And today, the teacher, uh, excuse me, the uh, school district told us that their positions, their classroom positions, are 98% filled. And they also say they have 500 substitutes on standby ready to fill in in the classroom. Live in Sacramento, I'm Brandi Cummings, KCRA 3 News.